no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net your possessions are designed to break. They're meant to implode and fail, explode into a hail of pieces in only a matter of weekends. Almost nothing you buy is meant to last more than a year or two, like a reality star created by MTV. Two years and then it's so old, broken or busted. Clothes are meant to fall apart or go out of fashion. Furniture breaks, devices become outdated and are often not even compatible to older ones. There's nothing I hate more than when old technology isn't compatible with new technology. The other day I was trying to trying to fax my, 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 my carrier pigeon and it didn't work at all. He didn't fit. And then you gotta buy the adapter and that's another $40. It's bullshit, alright? This shit, it, it should work. Make it, you can make it work for more than two weeks, you assholes. We know you can do it. The International Space Station has been going for 14 fucking years. But three months after I get a cell phone, it's on display in the Amish Museum of Antiquities. These products are meant to fall apart or go out of date. Economists call it planned obsolescence. But that's only because economists don't know how to speak to human beings and at parties they're a real buzzkill because everyone's like, I'm getting fucked up tonight! And the economist goes, oh, you mean anticipated inebriation. And then no one sleeps with him. Anyway, when translated into human, planned obsolescence is shit be breaking. And shit be breaking because the companies make more money if shit be breaking than if shit be working. In the past, people made things to last because A, they cared about their customer, and B, they didn't want to have to build a new one. A beautiful hutch would get passed down from generation to generation, and 130 years after it was built, a child's mother would say to him, your great-great-grandfather built this with his bare hands, and your grandfather was born inside this hutch, and your father once fornicated with this hutch, and one day it'll be yours. You might want to wash it first. But nowadays, you buy something at Ikea, it's made out of cardboard, scotch tape, and wishes. Six months later, it explodes into a thousand pieces, and then the pieces become dust and blow away like a German dude at the end of an Indiana Jones movie. So we create piles and piles of trash, garbage the size of civilizations, and we're running out of places to put it. And then it washes into the ocean and becomes a flotilla the size of Texas in the Pacific. I'm not kidding, Google it. And and whales have not yet evolved to consume plastic. I know, it's kind of lazy of them. We're doing our part, whales, by supplying you with all this sweet, delicious, homemade plastic. So why don't you do your part and fucking evolve to eat it? Or another option is maybe we could evolve as human beings. Help your friends realize we need a system that rewards the creation of products that last rather than punishes it. We have a limited amount of resources on this little rock, and I don't think we can just move to the plastic ocean patch when we're done with this land we're on. So let's get past our reticence and learn to reuse, recycle, rethink this system of planned obsolescence. Let's create furniture that lasts, computers that grow, and multi-purpose reality TV stars. Let's recycle Snooki and Donald Trump. Sure, maybe America doesn't want to hear what they have to say anymore, but perhaps Perhaps we can feed them to the livestock. Let's do this before we're the ones who are obsolete. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you'd like a free single track download from my new live comedy album that comes out this week entitled Pepper Spray the Tears Away, all you have to do is email your city to pepperspraythetearsaway at gmail.com. Just send that email and a single track from the album will be sent to you in response. Also, you can enter with a, uh, you can enter to, to win a copy of the full album by retweeting one of my tweets about the album. My Twitter name is at Lee Camp. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.